When you're tired of the grim settings of modern shooters and their balding, whip-spewing protagonists, return to a simpler time and squash them bugs in a space maze with Lady Halo. Metroid Prime Remastered. Descend to the surface of Talon 4 as you prepare to brave its hostile landscape and discover the secrets of the ancient race that made the entire thing into an elaborate saw trap. I want to play a game. By getting deep in all of its nooks and crannies and collecting the usual pieces of super suit they conveniently left behind puzzles for kindergartners, which you'll use no matter how little physical sense they make, with most of the abilities just being a fancy way to open a door or go down a pathway you couldn't before. I'm just saying, maybe it's no surprise that the super advanced alien race went extinct if going to the toilet needed future Heelys or whatever. Then blast your way closer to the heart of the planet's mystery and your fight with the game's singular actual Metroid. At least until you forget that the game doesn't have autosaves and lose an hour of progress at the bottom of a lava pit. Because no matter how hard they try, they can't remaster the shitness out of first person platforming. Experience a completionist nightmare, masquerading as a fun video game for children, as you plumb the planet's depths compulsively for every last missile tank, making mental notes of every funny wall you couldn't get through, so you can have the exciting opportunity to backtrack to it later once you have the get through the funny wall beam. An experience Metroid has somehow Stockholm Syndrome into its fans into enjoying. Then discover the true obsessive compulsive curse of Metroid Prime as you open up the scanner and realize that every single enemy, pickup, item of interest, and a large amount of random walls have collectible descriptions and flavor text, none of which you can get if you're in the headset mode where you can actually shoot guns, making you play the entire game like you're the final form of Dora the Explorer while giant bugs fly up your crap hole. Collecting vital information like try blowing this one up and this tree is very old. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Samus might not have the scientific method 100% down or she needs a firmware update. Either way, this ain't it. Battle your way through an ancient alien quarantine as you choose your control scheme from the GameCube classic or if you hate yourself for some reason, we motion controls. Then settle into combat that can technically be called first person shooting where 95% of the time all of the work is done for you by the lock-on button, leaving you plenty of time to focus on awkwardly dodging and strafing about in combat that's serviceable but never quite lost the feeling that it was designed by people who didn't play enough Doom. But the reviewers will say crazy things about anyway because they were all 13 when the original game came out and they've imprinted onto it like a freshly hatched baby bird. Just saying, if you're going to call Metroid a great shooter, you got to throw up Donkey Kong 64 in that Hall of Fame too. So charge up that Mega Man arm and turn your internal organs into a meat slurry inside your weird cybersonic roly-poly ball as you rediscover one of Nintendo's most beloved franchises from a new perspective. Or more likely, wall in your pre-existing nostalgia for it like the Nintendo pay pig you know yourself to be because if you're playing this thing for the first time in the year of our lore 2023, you might bounce off of it like a Switch remote off a brand new 50-inch flat screen. I mean, you don't even get to see a pixelated bikini at the end of this one. Though I guess the trade-off is that you can see Samus look disappointingly back at you through the visor. I mean, it's a different brand, but I'm kind of into it. Starring. Wait, where am I supposed to go again? Oh, sh**, that was just here. Nope, still can't do whatever that is. Maybe it's back this way. Nope, that's the room where I burned to death. What did I get the last time I played this? Know what? Screw this. Just gonna stand here until the hint system kicks on. Hemorrhoid Prime Remarketed Look, Metroid Prime is good and all, but we need the children to be exposed to real GameCube classics. That's right, I'm talking about Cubivore. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. You got a killer track, but all songs must come to an end. Gentlemen, from this day forward, you will all refer to me by the name Betty. The Kingdom Hearts storyline is totally easy to understand and explain. Here's your pizza. Now, give me a tip before I uppercut you into space.